Hey everyone, welcome to this weekend sidereal astrology forecast. This is for January 11th through the 13th of 2019. All right, so this weekend we do have the moon shifting into watery Pisces. So all weekend is really good for accessing that receptive side of ourself. Really good for listening to our intuition and connecting to our beingness and that present moment. So with this, the sun is going to go over Pluto on Friday. So maybe that day, maybe feeling a bit determined or transformed or self-empowered. So really good to implement that on Friday. And uh, Sunday, we do have Mercury over Saturn. So maybe some realistic thinking, very uh, real thinking. And so with that, maybe implementing some discipline with our minds, communication and routine can be fantastic. Now, the most important thing this weekend is Jupiter squaring up to Neptune. It's an aspect starting off the whole year. And so this could be some sort of new beginning regarding some potentials, maybe some ideals or dreams we may have. Essentially, it's a really good year for taking the action and initiative towards implementing and grounding some of these potentials or dreams that may be coming into the mix here this week. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this weekend. Again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. This does change your signs and the signs in the sky. So uh, if you are new, definitely check out that link down below for more information on True Sidereal Astrology. All right, so this weekend, uh, the moon will be shifting into Pisces, so pretty straightforward in terms of the backdrop here. Um, Pisces is about connecting to the ethers you could say, of life, the undercurrents of life. So really good time for following our intuition, listening to our inner guidance, trusting, developing our trust and uh, surrender to the present moment, to the divine process. And through this, just maybe getting some receptive time, right? Could be a good weekend for that. Meditation, maybe some rest, receptivity, also creativity, really good since we are again connecting to that more beingness and more receptive side of life. All right, so that's the backdrop. And of course, we uh, did have that solar eclipse exactly a week ago now. So the we are starting to build some momentum here in this lunar month. And so it does make it a really good weekend to start to set some intentions and maybe implement some things intentfully through action or initiative uh, going into next week. And this could be in the context of whatever started about a week ago and then just all in all, in general, what might have to do with um, our perspectives and our beliefs and listening to this spirit for life, listening to that inner guidance, but more of the fire inner guidance of what inspires us, what expands our horizons, what gives us that sense of spirit and cultivating some of these things. So um, on Friday, we do have the sun conjoining up to Pluto. And so we may have been feeling this leading up to the weekend. This is the energy of essentially self-empowerment and transformation. So this could be a great day for doing things that require self-empowerment, personal power, determination, and all in all, maybe just feeling a bit transformed with our vitality, with our spirit, with, again, the sense of what is possible in our belief systems, with our maybe perspective on things changing with this conjunction in Sagittarius. So really good day for implementing some of that depth, deeper, empowered sort of energy there. So as we um, go through the uh, weekend here, we are gonna feel this uh, Jupiter squaring up to Neptune. This is a collective energy for the entire year. It's the first aspect now starting in January. So this can uh, collectively be maybe all of us on some level, maybe having some dreams or some ideals or potentials that the natural tendency might be towards you know idealizing and maybe escaping or dreaming about these things or being overly idealistic or something typically with the square it does tend towards imbalance but it's not necessarily a challenging aspect the challenge is that we want to challenge ourselves in the sense that if there are any dreams or ideals it's an excellent week or excuse me really all year 
to be setting the actions, intentions, and putting in that energy into grounding these potentials. And in this way, it makes it a fantastic year for these things, but there could actually be some of these dreams and ideals built from this aspect. So it's still early, it's the first contact, a lot of it's about getting used to it, but anything you can do to, again, set those intentions with these things can be fantastic um, with this uh, energy. Now, some other things we may be feeling with it is uh, we could be just feeling a bit giving or compassionate in nature. So really good to channel that as well, maybe in the interpersonal side of things. And this could also be belief systems, right? Jupiter, who does rule Sagittarius, squaring Neptune can be maybe some spiritual beliefs coming in, um, some uh, you know philosophies, spirituality, right? These sort of uh, higher wisdom matters that might be Neptunian in nature, spiritual in nature, receptive. So really good to ground those as well. Keeping both feet firmly on the ground though, right? Because again, because of that imbalance, that natural tendency towards imbalance with the square, we do want to make sure that we are testing our philosophies, we are testing our beliefs, and staying nice and grounded with it with the square. But all in all, like I said, excellent year for developing these things with this energy. We really do want to use squares. Like squares are extremely useful and helpful for making things actually become a potential. It was just a trine, for example, we may just be feeling it or inspired towards it. And sure, it might be easy to cultivate it, but then we may not. With the square, it's a little bit more pressure, a little bit more of that action, initiative, grounded energy, really makes it um, turn into a reality. All right, so we'll see how that unfolds. Give it time. Like I said, it's a yearly energy, but slowly starting to cultivate uh, this weekend and going into next week. Now, the uh, last thing about the weekend here is that on Sunday, Mercury will be over Saturn. So this could be maybe some serious thinking, which is good. Saturn in this, in this day in particular, maybe some uh, realistic thinking, serious thinking. And so great to channel this in constructive ways. Could be a really good day for discipline for things like writing or communication or our routine. And again, with this conjunction in Sagittarius, it is about grounding these potentials because that is what Saturn's been helping us do in Sag is to, to surely expand and, and again, cultivate what inspires us, but with patience, discipline, seeing the long road, the long-term potential, and things do get built with Saturn, they just take maybe some time and hard work or discipline or patience to go along with that. So on Sunday, we could just be feeling that way or, or just observing things that way, which is actually a really good, um, you know, sort of step in the right direction involving this, all right? So that is the uh, weekend in a nutshell. Most important thing is the Jupiter squaring Neptune energy, cultivating dreams and ideals with intention and initiative, also beliefs, perspectives, things of that nature. And uh, leading up to that on Friday, the sun over Pluto, some transformed perspectives, maybe feeling a bit empowered. Great day for things that require determination, facing fears, right? Breaking cycles and patterns even, and then the sort of empowerment and non-attachment that arises from that and all weekend long really good for that receptive energy even though we are starting to build some momentum in the lunar cycle implementing some acceptance some development of our intuition listening to that inner guidance and just again connecting to the ebbs and flows of life all right so everyone have a fantastic weekend thank you for watching and i will see you all on monday for the daily forecast